Hi, and welcome to Tips. Technology is pretty simple. This podcast can be found at video.wabansi.edu slash ctlt slash tips slash tips dot php. The purpose of the podcast is to present technology tips for educators in five minutes. Welcome to the first episode of Tips. Today our objective is to show you a secret way of using the iPod that you may not be aware of. Most people use their iPod to listen to their music on. Many people will download podcasts to their iPod so that they can view them later. Myself, I've modified mine. I can use it as a razor. And never can have enough coasters around. But today, you're going to learn how you can use your iPod as a presentation tool. This is going to mean is that in your classroom, you're going to be able to take what displays on a one and a half by two inch screen and have it projected perfectly through the projector or a TV in your classroom. Here's what you need. An iPod that supports color video and a cable that is standard with most camcorders. It has the RCA yellow, red, and white composite connectors on one end and a mini AV plug on the other end. Additionally, you'll need to make one setting change on the iPod. Okay. You'll select video off the menu, not the videos menu, go to the video settings. Here you'll see the setting for TV out. By default, it is set to off, which means it's going to display on the iPod. You can change that to ask, which then it will prompt you each time you play a video if you want it played on the iPod or to the external device or you can leave it on on, which would always put it out through the external device. I'm going to go ahead and leave mine set on ask. With the settings in place, now it is time to connect up the cable. We'll start with the iPod. You have the headphone connector as it's labeled, but it sends out a video signal. Connect the cable into that headphone port. Now comes the interesting part. We're going to go ahead and connect this up to the Media Ready Classroom video connection. Where the interesting part comes in is that you actually take your red connector and connect it to the video yellow connection. Then you'll take the yellow video connector and connect that to your left audio and then the white audio connector and connect that to the right red connection. Okay, let's recap. First, we have downloaded the podcast onto our iPod. Second, we've gone into the iPod's video settings and adjusted it to play through the external source. Third, we have connected the cable to the headphone jack of our iPod. Fourth, we have connected the other end of the cable to our video source, in this case, the video inputs on the Media Ready Classroom. And finally, you need to adjust that video source, so whether it's a Media Ready equipment or a television, to play through that video source. With all those sets, we're ready to play that video. So let's see how this presentation works. Trying to schedule an appointment but having a hard time finding a date and time that works? Try using the busy search feature to schedule that appointment. Hey Alvin. Hey Bob, how you doing? Not too bad. I got an appointment for you. Sure. All right, you have a good one. You too. To schedule an appointment, start by clicking on the new appointment button. 
As you can see, this is a great way of removing technical problems that you could have due to the technology. Instead, you can use your classroom time more effectively and still use that multimedia content to help engage your students. Hopefully you found this podcast informative and useful. Remember to subscribe to the feed at video.wabansi.edu slash ctlt slash tips slash tips dot php.